good that you use that word OG while we're doing an interview mm -hmm. with that because now there's the young kids they only consider an OG someone that I went through crime, that went through some No, they put stuff. a negative connotation on it. That's right. No, OG means the person that gets up every morning and goes to work for their family. An OG is someone who directs the youth in the right direction. That's an OG. OG doesn't have nothing to do with crime. OG has something to do with doing the right thing. That's gangster. Right. If you get up and you go to work every day and take care of your family, that's OG to me. Right. Now, I don't know what it is to anyone else. I can't say. But I'm just talking about for me. That's an OG. You appeared on Uptown Comedy Club, Def Jam, and Saturday Night Live. Mm -hmm. Describe the difference between each show and did you have to alter your jokes accordingly to each show's demographics? No. Uh, each show was different. It was a different... Uptown was in the hood. It was in the neighborhood. Saturday, uh, Saturday Night Live... Is America. That's America. So in 30 Rock and all of those things and OG, they're just different animals. And you have to just, but the thing I can say about me, I never changed who I was. If you look at me on TV and in the movies, I'm Trey. And so I am. But I can do other things. Other things. I can do them. When you said uh, how hard. Dialect, new dialect. Yeah, huh? How hard was it for you to cross over to a white audience and a white demographic? I never crossed over. Who said that? But when you go into a Saturday Night Live... Be you. Isn't Do it, you. So it's not a different type Do of Do you. Gotcha. They got to love you for you. Not for anyone else. Allow them to love you for you. Allow them to see who you are. Because you are a beautiful thing. You're something that God created. Crossed over, but was crossing over, but they don't know no better. But I do. True, can I get a zoo? Much respect, do to the one six o. I mean, oh, peace, man. In two thousand three, you started. Your People who cross over don't know no better. Mm, so maybe I used the wrong word, the wrong adjective. Absolutely. Right, right. They got to come to me. Right. To get right. Tracy Morgan, they got to come to me. Gotcha. In 2003, you started your own sitcom, The Tracy Morgan Show. Right. It was canceled the following. Was that a tough time for you, or did you understand it was part of the business? I never worried. I just knew it was a part of the business. Things come and go in the business. Right. I just, I never worried about it, because I knew my comedy, my sense of humor, wasn't going anywhere. The show might have left, but my sense of humor wasn't going anywhere. Where'd you get that sense of humor from? Where'd you get that confidence? I was born with it. 